Hi there, I'm Kevin Devine and this is Divine Encounters, where I bump into stars and celebrities and have unplanned, unscripted chats with them here in the heart of London. We've got a man, he's on his way for a drink. You know, you're going to need a big <laughs> Not wide. at all. Richard, how are you doing today? Well, I picked the wrong day to walk into London's glittering West End, young man, uh, wearing a black shirt and black jeans. I live in a flat that's only got windows on one side, so you uh -huh. never know quite how what hot it is or what the weather's like until you leave. But as a smashing day today, I know we've got you on the way, you're going out socialising tonight, but what, what current projects are you... What current projects have you got on the go just now? He's well, I've just filed my column, my weekly column for Hello Magazine. Good. Just followed, uh, filed, I beg your pardon, first positions, eyes and teeth, uh, my mm -hmm. weekly column for Woman's Own. Good. Uh, never the twain, as they say. Yeah. I think one couture, one catalogue. Um, uh, what else? Uh, I just finished 71 Degrees North for ITV, which oh. was what I say just finished. That was a couple of... Uh, that was a, That's a couple fabulous of weeks series. ago. Uh, a couple of months ago now. Yeah, yeah. Well, fabulous. There's no smoke and mirrors, young man. I mean, it's pretty tough. For those people who haven't seen it, it's celebrities trekking to the Arctic. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Obviously, in my case, celebrities is rather a wide definition. <laughs> but um, nevertheless, young man, it was fantastic. Can't tell you how I did. I was going to say, is this embargoed at the moment? It's all secret. Well, uh, yeah, you can say that I'm on it, but yeah, I, I can't yeah. tell you how well I did. But they were a great team, the people who did go we on understand it. understand But it's not like... Um, I'm a celebrity. It was the most extraordinary experience I've ever had. It was like being on a billionaire stag weekend. That's the only way I can describe it, because you've got all the toys to play uh -huh. with. You know, you're being thrown in and out of harnesses, which pleased no end of uh, no end of people who were taking part. Um, the Marines are always on hand, which is always encouraging. Uh, but it, it, as I say, no smoke and mirrors. I mean, sure. I don't know if you saw the first series with Andrew Castle and, and uh, Shane Ritchie, all of whom warned me mm -hmm. against it. Well, actually, no, they said it was going to be a great experience. And uh, it did. It turned out to be one of the best experiences I've ever had. W were you ever... Was there a time when you were asked to do something you thought, this is actually really risky, I'm really putting my life on the line here? Or? I'm not a fan of heights. Okay. Uh, and there was a lot of throwing yourself down cliff faces without giving too much wow. away again. Uh, that was the only thing that got me into a bit of a schwitz, a bit uh -huh. like walking into Soho today. Uh, but uh, the real river in my valley came when they said to me, you need to roll around in the snow and strip down to your pants. So talk about taking this on a wide. I said, you're going to need a very big jib. Not at all. I think a you're very doing yourself big an injustice jib. Oh, there, an injustice. Oh, mate, you yeah. know what the camera's like. I don't know how yeah. many pounds this puts on, but you can imagine when you're out there wobbling around in the middle of the <laughs> Arctic. It was not ideal. But we had a ball. It was a good thing. I don't think there's anyone who came away from it who thought, wow. Yeah. Well, you know, a good experience. No, it was the, the most wearing thing, because you think you're quite fit before you mm. do it. The most wearing thing is when you're um, when you're wading through the snow, and I am, you know. I think I was described as sturdy the other day by a friend, okay. so I snatched a compliment from that. I think it means I've got Queen Anne legs. So, uh, <laughs> Muscly. Yeah, well, I, don't know. I think yeah. sturdy is just sturdy, to be honest. So big boned and all of that. It is wading through the snow. Yeah. It is extraordinary because, you, you know, every time I'm there, others are skittering along it like that. And yeah. I'm going through the snow, falling in deeper and deeper and deeper. But it's the most beautiful part of the country. It's quite far north, Norway. It's, it's amazing. It Sounds as if you had a hilarious time as well. As a bit of there an were hilarious time. consequences. Yeah. But I've never been the meat in someone's sandwich before, young man, so I don't know how the editors are going to turn it out. Um, so we'll have to wait and see. You'll have to wait. I think it's mid-September time. Yeah. See how they're going to tell the yeah, story. Yeah, yeah. And finally today, if I want to find out about you online, do you have your, your, your own website? Oh, very dare you. Just because a man do comes into Soho for a drink. <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> Do you Twitter? Do you Facebook? I do, do, you do Twitter. I Twitter. Yeah. I tweet uh, at Richard Catalay Arnold. 